Next item. But, but procedure. Item eight procedure. on the order paper. Procedure. Prime Minister. Procedure. Stein. Procedure. Pro Next. Prime Minister's time. Procedure. Honorable members. It is related. Honorable Pre members. Honorable members. Can we have the next item? Next it is item. related to the previous. It is okay. You will bring it. Good. And the you members will, allowed. You will bring no. it. It is bad faith. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Prime Minister, go and speak. Sergeant. Prime Minister, can I have you on the floor? Prime Minister. Uh, which way? Prime Minister. But this is not her parliament. Prime Minister. Prime Minister. Honor Honorable Prime Minister, can you start? Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members. Right, Honorable Speaker. Okay. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members. We got a question from Honorable Biakatonda Abdul, workers MP, and his prayers are that what is the current status of the project to establish a referral hospital in Parisa? The second one was that uh, what are the reasons for the delay in the implementation of the promise? to establish a referral hospital in Parisa. The third question, right honorable speaker, is that what are the specific timelines and milestones set by the Minister of Health for the, com com for the commencement honorable members, listen. of the completion of the referral hospital that is in Parisa district. That honorable speaker and honorable members, my response is... Honorable members, I want you kindly to listen to the Prime Minister. Whoever wants to draw accountability, please, let's listen to the Prime Minister. And I want to assure you, no amount of intimidation will move me away from my jolly mood. And I will not suspend anybody. If you want suspension, nobody will be suspended. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, I believe that was a light moment. Right, Honorable, uh, Honorable Speaker, I'm glad the Minister has considered on one element to say an error was occasioned and the bill was not signed. That should never happen because I'm sure you have teams that help you put these things together. The minister has also said that they are going to consult within cabinet to determine whether or not 
to withdraw the bill. Honorable Speaker, I, I don't think there's two ways around it because the law is the law. So I don't think you can sit and agree and say we shall not follow the law. As it is now, right, Honorable Speaker, we have got two options. That government can be humble enough, acknowledge a mistake that was made, withdraw the bill. Or as parliament, we use our prerogative to throw the bill out, which will make you look shabby. So we're only helping but, you as but, government to say, withdraw, concede, you need to reorganize internally. So you withdraw what you brought before us here, go back, sit, get organized, which ministry is bringing this bill, make sure it is signed, and so on. If they don't want to do that, we use uh, our powers as parliament Lop, to throw it out. Lob, on top of that, our chairs of the committees should also exercise the procedure prudence to make sure that the, the bill is fully it is signed or it has all the ingredients that require it to be what to be processed I, I agree right robert speaker because you see there are many gatekeepers so the first gatekeeper is the minister who is bringing the bill once your technical people put it together for you you ought to realize there's an issue the second gatekeeper is at the committee stage the third and final gatekeeper is here in the house. And so we did our good gatekeeping here in the house to say there is a problem here. We hope that now it can be reversed in a very nice way. So don't put us in a difficult situation as government to say we are going to see whether we withdraw or not. Because if you do not withdraw, we shall do the legal thing to say we have rejected it. I don't know if that's what you want. I am thinking about the two million shillings though. Maybe if the Prime Minister could break down and Adam Brett, what exactly is the two million shillings going to do? You see, I began by appreciating because something has come through. But I'm saying two million shillings for people that have lost everything is too paltry, it is too little. So I, I don't know how you came up with the calculation for two million shillings. Maybe if we can have a better understanding, because we who keep interacting with these people and their urgent needs and challenges, two million shillings is really a paltry sum. Maybe if you could guide us so that they know. So this two million, you can, I don't know, pay rent for this, you replace this. I, I don't know, help us understand how you also came up with the two million. You as lead of government, I mean of opposition, you can also make some contribution. People have been contributing. You can also do some contribution. Right, Robert Speaker, the, the matter we are dealing with is a very serious matter. It's a matter of life and death. People have died. Many are still buried under that garbage. Several people have been to that place. I went together with a couple of leaders, donated items and so on. I, I'm not sure if the Prime Minister is in order to turn this into a jocular matter because you are government and that's why we are tasking you. So for us to say, one, we appreciate the two million but it is too little, please add to it. And she's saying, no, you also go and contribute and add to it. I get the feeling like you are abdicating from your responsibility. That's why you are government.